We're told that uh, Hay 19 is B4 on the jukebox. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get told a lot of things in my headset, and some of them you want to hear, and then there's others. But that was a good one. Little Steely Dan. All right. Pace car is in. It'll be 19 to go in Kentucky. Who gets the jukebox? Let's find out. Oh, Whoa! Jimmy Johnson gets turned by Keslowski. You could see it coming, Mike. Caution is out. Jimmy Johnson moved down to try to block that big run coming from Brad Keselowski. Jimmy did a similar move on the last restart, was able to make up some spots. Keselowski tried it that time, and he and Jimmy Johnson come together. Looks like Jimmy's got a tire rub as a result. Pretty good chance of a right front. Oh, these guys are wondering who was ahead the time of caution. And our scoring has wow. leading. Now, at the time of caution, it is not the moment of caution that determines the leader. So that you can't advance on the yellow, it's the last scoring loop that is crossed prior to the caution flag, where you see Jimmy going around off the bumper of Brad's number two. Yeah, and what you saw, Jimmy was up there pushing the 12 of Blaney, and, and the, uh, Brad Keselowski kind of had a little bit of a run waited a little bit further back. I mean, he did it perfectly, timed it perfectly, and Jimmy just wasn't there quick enough to try to put that block on and turned himself around. That's what, It's really tough. You know, you're focused on the car ahead of you. You're trying to push Blaney if you're Jimmy Johnson, and you're focused on getting up through the gears and pushing him to try to get by Mark Truex Jr. And at the same time, you gotta look up in your mirror real quick, because it happens fast. It's just so hard to anticipate that move that Brad Keselowski made right there. Here's what Brad had to say. Ridiculous, run me off the racetrack. I don't run people off the racetrack like that. Well, you know, this is what we talk about. Inside 20 laps to go, there's just no give and take. And, and when somebody gets a run like that, if you're Brad Keselowski and you have that run, you're not going to lift. You're going to go all the way to the grass if you have to. And if you're Jimmy Johnson, you're going to put as big of a block on as you can. I, I think, you know, when Jimmy looks back at this, he's going to maybe wish he could have gotten down there a little bit quicker to block that run that Brad had going. You can see he sees it coming at the last minute or last second. And Brad just not going to lift doesn't look like other than that one tire rub doesn't look like much damage on Johnson's car no the real damage is just the fact that you're gonna have to come down pit road and lose yeah. all that track position and you were third and now you're gonna be the tail end of the lead lap in what 24th Pretty heavy contact with the right front of Keselowski's car. Hopefully it is clear of the tire. So again, we go back to the last scoring loop crossed before the caution, the moment of caution. Yeah, the only issue here, Mike, is just that that left rear will rub that left rear tire. So when they come down, they'll clearance that. Probably one of the least sensitive areas on the race car aerodynamically is that quarter panel behind the left rear. 